Okay, maybe you say this, maybe you say, well, <laughs> it's really hard to imagine how I could possibly be mistaken in, in this situation, right? Uh, when I'm sitting with something a foot and a half away from my face uh, and I think I perceive it, I, it's, it's really difficult to think of a situation where I've been mistaken in this regard. And Descartes is going to say, okay, but you, there have been some situations where you've been mistaken about your senses. Right, what your senses have told you has turned out to be false. Right? Optical illusions, right? Maybe an optical illusion is something that's tricked you before. Maybe you've seen something in the distance that turned out not to be there. Mirages are a common thing. Maybe you've uh, mistaken the color of some buildings or billboards or scenery because of the time of day with the light or the atmospheric interference. Right? There's some way that your eyes have misled you. If anybody here right, needs to use glasses, <laughs> if you need to use glasses in some way, Descartes already saying, uh -huh, yeah, your, your eyes aren't infallible, right? Um, if you've tasted something, have you ever done this right? Sorry if this example curls your stomach, but suppose like you smell the milk and it smells fine and you pour the milk and you taste it, you taste it, oh gosh, that's actually bad, right? Well, your nose misled you in ways that your you know, mouth did not, right? Um, maybe uh, um, you, know, you felt uh, something on your hand that you thought was just a tickle and turned out to be a wasp that was stinging you. Maybe you... Uh, you know, just trying to think of a variety of different ways where your senses might have fooled you. Maybe you thought... Uh, there was some ingredient in the soup that turned out not to be there. Right? You're deathly afraid of garlic, or you know, you're allergic to garlic, and oh, this soup has garlic. It's, no, it doesn't have soup, and it doesn't have garlic in the soup. Um, you know, it's food, right? This this happens more than a little bit. You think the food is fully cooked, you eat it, yeah, it's fine. A little while later, it turns out not so much. Um, there's all kinds of ways that you have made mistakes using your sensory in input. Now you might say, but but I haven't made a mistake when it's a foot and a half away from me. It's right here. I can't make a mistake about that. Descartes says that doesn't matter. You've made a mistake with your senses at some point. Okay? And that's enough to say there's some room for doubt with your sensory information. Okay? With that sensory information. There is some room for doubt. Not to mention, you know, all the ways that what you could be dreaming, you could be suffering from hallucination, you could be suffering from a delusion, uh, you could be hypnotized into believing this, all, all these perhaps wacky, but possible ways in which you could form a belief that you're sitting in your room with the computer right? or sitting down watching your phone or whatever it is that you're doing. There's all kinds of ways, you know, even presuming normally functioning sensory information, there's all kinds of ways your mind can be led to believe something that's false. And if you were suffering from those ways, if you were having a delusion right now, Descartes says you wouldn't know the difference. Because yeah, that, that's what it means to be within a delusion. It's not as if somebody says, I'm feeling delusional today. Now, it, it doesn't work that way. Wow, what a great hallucination, right? People don't do that. <laughs> um, they think what they're seeing is the real thing. Hmm? So for Descartes, no, you, you can't trust your senses. Because not only have you made mistakes with your senses in the past, there's a whole variety of ways in which you have, you, know, you could be mistaken or have these uh, uh, judgments that are just off base. Mm -hmm.